Hello, welcome to this new video series of microwave engineering. In this uh, subject, we will be reading about the microwave engineering and the related topics. So, in the first video, we will be discussing some introduction to the microwave engineering. So, what we are going to discuss in the first uh, unit of this. So, first of all, introduction to RF and microwave spectrum. So, we will know about the spectrum. Then, some history of the microwave. Then, what are the applications uh, such as civil and military applications, medical safety considerations and modern trends in microwave engineering that is how it is used nowadays. So, radio aids to the navigation, RFID technology, GPS technology and most importantly effect of microwave on human body. So, these are the topics we are going to discuss. Okay. So, next uh, this is just a picture, pictorial representation of how to understand microwave range or what is the frequency. Basically, uh, we say that it starts from 3 kilohertz to 3000 gigahertz. So, previously this was the thing 3 kilohertz to 3000 gigahertz. So, this is the frequency range in which the microwave device we say that microwave device work there. Okay. So, uh, for example, like radio and television, mobile services, satellite communication that comes under this frequency of operation. And after that we go to the infrared, then we go to the visible light, then ultraviolet and then x-rays and after that gamma ray is also there. So, our concern of uh, uh, reading in this topic is the this region. Okay? So, this is the region which we are going to read or the concepts we are going to read are going to be applied on this particular region or the applications. Now, this is another pictorial uh, representation to understand how the microwave is. So, why the microwave is written? Okay. So, why the wave term is there and why the microwave is there? Okay. So, basically this microwave uh, when it was defined it is not based on the frequency basically it is based on the wavelength of a signal. Okay. So, now if I see that the low frequency that, that we say as the radio frequency and the frequency uh, is uh, upon up to 10 to the power 6 to 10 to the power 10 hertz. Okay. So, now at low frequency what will be the wavelength? So, it is in meter 10 to the power 3 meter that is 1 kilometer 10, uh, to 10 to the power minus 1 that is 1, um, 0.1 kilometer uh, 0 0.01 kilometer or 100 meters. Okay. So, if I uh, want to compare that wavelength, so how do I physically I uh, means imagine that what is the length of uh, the wave? So, basically see these are the buildings and towers are given. So, you have seen the bigger bigger, bigger buildings like uh, uh, the twin towers and Burj Khalifa all those things. So, the wavelength size of one wavelength is this much of that. So, what is a wavelength basically if there is a wave if there is a wave. So, so, starting point to ending point what is the distance? So, this distance is basically called as your wavelength and in this case the wavelength is comparable to this particular things. So, what are those? Those are the buildings and human also. So, if you take a standard human height that is 5 feet or 6 feet, then the wavelength of a particular wave can be of that length. Okay. So, why wavelength is important? Uh, because uh, designing the antennas and microwave devices, wavelength plays a much more important role. So, next is uh, this is called the radio wave and then it comes to the microwave. Okay. So, in microwave it ranges from 10 to the power 10 hertz to 10 to the power 12 hertz. So, that is go to gigahertz and it is in the we say in, it is in the mega range and the wavelength is 10 power minus 1 to 10 power minus 3. So, if you compare with a physical entity then the size of a insects or the ant here ant is written size of the insect. So, this is this much small of wavelength is there. Okay. Next, if you go to the infrared region, then the wavelength becomes size of a eye of a needle. Eye of a needle means what? Inside which the thread goes. So, that is the eye of the needle. So, the wavelength becomes this small, only this much of length. Now, you can imagine how small it is. Again, when it goes to visible light, then the wavelength becomes the protoja. So, that is a cell type structure. So, this is very small and you can see the size is 10 to the power minus 4 meter to 10 to the power minus 7 meter and the frequency range is 10 power 15 hertz to 10 power 16 hertz. Okay. So, now uh, next is your ultraviolet. Now, the point is how this frequency and this wavelength is related. So, there is a simple formula lambda equal to c by f. Okay. So, if you increase the frequency obviously the wavelength will decrease. So, that is what happening here. 
and then comes to the ultraviolet okay and then come to x uh, x rays which is whose wavelength is as small as a atom and then it comes to gamma rays and whose wavelength is related to the atomic nuclei mean inside the atom the nucleus is there and the wavelength is as small as that and gamma ray is basically used in the cancer treatment as well so when it comes to the topic i will uh, discuss about that later okay and x ray is uh, used you know for uh, scanning uh, if bone fracture and all so why x ray is used there not any other imaging so that also we'll discuss further so this is how a pictorial representation of the microwave uh, microwave not microwave wave of wave propagating in a medium at different frequencies how we can relate with the actual size of a physical object how we can imagine what is how small that is okay basically our working region will be here most of the devices that we are using uh, is used in this frequency ranges okay then uh, we will see uh, we will also learn that if you are using a mobile you don't need an extra antenna but if you use the fm service then you need an antenna or you need to connect the earphone to be used as an antenna so why it is we will discuss about that also in the subsequent uh, lectures okay so next is some introduction to rf and microwave spectrums and with this uh, uh, small introduction we'll stop here and in the next class uh, next lecture we'll discuss about it in a depth okay now radio waves and microwave so see here and is written so radio wave is a separate thing and microwave is a separate thing why it is called a microwave that is we'll discuss that in some color uh, some other class why the micro word is used there what is the significance of this we'll discuss that in later so radio waves and microwaves are the form of electromagnetic radiation okay electromagnetic radiation means electromagnetic waves when this propagates in some medium then we say that as radio waves or microwaves and with a operating frequency of what operating frequency first is 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz so this is for the radio waves so this range is for the radio wave sometimes this comes as a short question as well what is the range of radio wave so this is the radio wave okay and 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz this is the microwave okay so these are the two ranges so the short question comes what is the range of microwave what is the range of radio wave so this is the answer okay now different microwave application and technology will use certain frequency band to avoid frequency interference so that comes under now the spectrum so 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz one device cannot use all this this is a very large frequency right 300 mega to 300 giga so if it is 10 power 6 then it is 10 power 12 so this much of large frequency no device use so these frequencies are basically divided into small small spectrums and the spectrum is given to particular applications like satellite will use which spectrum mobile tv mobile communication will use uh, which uh, spectrum your fm communication will use your fm radio stations will use which spectrum or which frequency band that is divided to avoid the interference interference means what two waves at same frequency if they are propagating then they will interference with each other so there will be noise and data loss so that's why spectrums are given to different different applications so that is what is called as frequency bands okay a band of frequency let's say 300 megahertz to 400 megahertz it is a band if i say like that 300 megahertz to 400 megahertz is used for certain wireless communication so a band of frequency is used for that wireless application we'll we'll see that what are the different bands and how they are named also okay so before going to a, a specific bands so there are following three types of brands are there I mean these are the basic bands we say it is not the actual band so these are the three basic bands so what is this one is UHF UHF is what ultra high frequency okay ultra high frequency is called as UHF which is 0 0.3 gigahertz okay remember 0 0.3 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz that means the starting point of the microwave region to the uh, 3 gigahertz point okay so this is how the uh, bands uh, fast band is uh, done next one is super high frequency or it is called as shf and the range is 3 to 30 gigahertz and the next frequency band is extra high frequency that is 30 to 300 gigahertz 
so these are the three basic types of frequency bands we uh, we say and after this also certain frequency bands are there and uh, the names are specified and standardized also which is used worldwide so in the next lecture we'll see that and in the uh, current like in this lecture we'll end here and we'll the make the introduction part short so we'll meet in the next video thank you